Hello everyone, as you can see, we've got another Star Wars The Black Series figure in front of us. This time it is Grief Karga from The Mandalorian. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box. Then we'll go ahead and unbox the figure, take a look at his articulation, take some pictures, and then talk about things that we like or don't like about the figure. So one of the things that most people ask uh, in the comments is, you know, to say where I received the figure or purchased the, the figure from. Uh, in this case, uh, he came from GameStop. Uh, so <clears throat> I've had good luck lately with GameStop, except for this wave, I swear, uh, where they, for some reason, um, the big box stores like Target and Walmart, uh, they seem to have them before uh, GameStop or even... Uh, Best Buy, which actually has done very well for me as well, but not this wave. I guess uh, Hasbro is trying to mix it up a little bit. All right, let's see how well he stands on his own here. Get his feet. Uh, okay, we'll work on that. All right, so I'll go ahead and get things cleaned up and we'll be right back. You know, there's one thing I forgot. Take a look at the outside the box here. Um, anyway, so before we take a look at uh, grief there, uh, so we've got the Mandalorian outside here. We've got the cool portrait here, grief cargo on the bottom. We've got uh, looks like some Mandalorians there in the background. And then on the back, we've got that portrait a little bit better uh, in view. And we've got grief cargo. As an agent of the Bounty Hunters Guild, Grief Karga secures bounty hunters in pursuit of valuable and rare quarries in the galaxy. Well, I guess that was true in Season 1 of The Mandalorian, so of course that's not the case anymore. Alright, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and take a look at the blasters first. I tend to do that. I mean, these, these are actually pretty cool blasters. Come on, come on, focus, focus. There we go. I mean, you could probably swap this out with uh, just about any action figure and it would match. I mean, it doesn't look like necessarily Star Wars, but it is still Star Wars and super cool. And the other one matches as well. All right, so grief. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take a look here. So it looks like the outside, we've got some uh, Ocus. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so the the trench is not uh, soft goods, which I think is good because he is able to, you know, it's gonna hold up a little bit better. I'm not sure if this will come off. Might be able to, I'm not gonna really mess with that though. Um, as far as the arms are concerned at the shoulder, we're going to get a little bit less than the full length there. The uh, The movement is going to be at the elbow, not at the upper arm. The elbow looks like it goes to about 90. Same on the other. And then on this hand, it is an up-down. The other one, it is also an up-down. Just a little stiffer. All right. Um, and then at the... Wow, that belt is actually really cool. Take a look at that. Good job. Um, we've got a good motion here. We don't have... It's actually at the waist. It's not at a, a weird junction point, which is interesting for Hasbro these days. Uh, we do have movement at the upper thigh. The holster is not attached, which is good. And it is a single knee joint. And all the way up, all the way down. That's some movement down. <laughs> all right. And then we've got the holsters. And other holster. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Uh, as far as the head is concerned, looks like it's got movement at the top and bottom of the neck. So... Full 360 at the top, all the way down, all the way up, and we got good head motion. I like the, the ability to do the tilts. I think that it's going to be the best way to get the look that we're looking for here. And uh, yeah, that's that's Karga. All right, 
let's go ahead and take some pictures and we'll be right back. Hope you enjoyed those pictures taking a closer look at grief here i mean the face it just seems off somehow uh i don't know what i would do to make it better but the sculpt just doesn't maybe, maybe it's the paint i think it's the paint that is off for me um and that that's what it is i mean that's typically what it is with these hasbro uh figures especially the newer generation the sculpt is actually really good but the paint is just off. Uh, and that's where some of these third parties will actually do a really good job at repainting uh, the same sculpt. Um, other than that, I mean, I think the figure is actually really good. He's got some good articulation. Like I said, I like his belt. I think that the um, the outfit with that, that trench, half trench jacket or whatever you want to call it, that's actually really cool. The blasters are awesome. Um, on the cuffs here, they're actually really cool as well. So and, and also the the texture on the 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 rest of the outfit I think is really good as well. So I think they did a really good job on that. Um, it's just the face, and I have that problem with a lot of the figures as well. That's why I, I tend to gravitate towards like the stormtroopers or you know the anybody that has like a helmet of some sort uh, because of that. Anyways, um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, make sure to ask down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, if you don't already subscribe to the channel, I invite you to do so. We do a lot of things on the channel, uh, but we do tend to gravitate towards uh, Star Wars and the Black Series figures in particular. But we do other things on the channel as well every once in a while uh, that a professional geek might find interesting. So with that, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and have a great day. Mm -hmm.